The Add Run widget is one of the most important aspects of the program because it is the entry point for all of your data into the race base. If done properly, the Add Run section can be quick and painless method of adding data after a pass. In the race base, we have two different places that utilize a view, the Add Run widget and the logbook itself, and both of these can be set by accessing either the Cars widget or the Views widget. Because we recognize that the order you add information in after a pass is different than how you would like to view it in your logbook, the race base allows you to customize both. The default section in Add Run has some very important information that is used in other areas, so make sure that this is correct. The first option is the car number. If you're using multiple cars, it should be apparent which car you're on because the widget background would be a different color. Next is the date. If the date of the event selected is within five days, it will automatically use today's date. Otherwise, the date should default to the event start date. If you need to change the date, you can click on the date field and it will bring up a date picker. Next is the time field, and this part is also very important to put in a standard time format. If you are running the Race Air Cloud and it is logging, it will automatically grab the weather sample for that time and, it, and import it into the weather to make your life easier. Finally, make sure you have the correct event selected so we place it in the right page on your logbook. The next category will vary depending on what your ad run view looks like, but it is typically ET slip either eighth or quarter mile. One unique field that you will notice is the lifted ET field. As you gather more runs in the database, the race based software learns more about your car and will even be able to detect if your pass was a full one or if you lifted. If you tell it that you lifted, it will automatically search all of your good passes for the closest to the one you just made, then use our run completer formula to predict what would have been that ET. It will then place your ET slip number into a field called lifted ET and put what you would have run into the eighth or quarter mile field. This means that when you are looking through your logbook you are seeing more accurate data from run to run and if you see a value in the lifted ET field then you know that you lifted that pass and that's what you actually ran on the ET slip. The notes category is an easy way to keep good notes after each pass and can really become invaluable down the road. Remember also that if the notes category isn't in the view that your logbook is currently showing then you won't see notes in the logbook. As far as the other categories go this really depends on how many additional variables and categories you created. You'll notice that any variable that I selected to be a preloaded variable has a light gray background and already has values input for you. If for some reason you made a change for that pass, you can still edit these fields and the next time you select add run, it'll have the new value. This allows you to keep track of a massive amount of variables with no additional effort. At the very bottom, you'll notice a category called unused. This is a special catch-all category that will have any variable that wasn't listed in one of the categories above. This ensures that all of your variables are kept track of, even if you forget to add it to one of the categories above. Once you have finished adding all of your data and click on submit, a window will appear asking if this is a full run and giving you three options. If it was a good full run, then we want to add it to the database. This is worth doing even if you are not using the database prediction method because the good runs are what allows us to use the run completer formula and instantly determine what you would have run. The second option is I lifted autocorrect run. This is the option we talked about before that will automatically find the closest run, perform the run completer program, and place what you would have run in if you didn't lift into your eighth or quarter mile ET fields. It will then move your ET slip value to a field called lifted ET. This means that whenever you see a value in the lifted ET field, then the value in your eighth or quarter mile is actually a corrected value. The final option is, I lifted, leave run alone. This option lets the race base know not to add it to the bat database and not to correct it. If you don't ever want to use the race base to autocorrect or utilize a database of runs, then you should select this every time. Once one of these options has been selected, you should see your run appear in the logbook. If you don't, ensure you are on the correct event. If you have any other questions, check out the FAQ to the left or go to our website computech.com for more content.